Hello and welcome back to Feral and for the Halloween season known as Cindernaut. From this season comes a new character I've created, Umbrafis, the monger of chaos. Umbrafis was a normal long dragon who was a practitioner of sorcery but mainly excelled at the dark arts. He studies and practices of dangerous magic and rituals allowed an evil supernatural force to influence and completely take over his mind and body becoming a being bent on plunging the universe into darkness and under his rule. I'll have this character out every October. Unless future updates change that. Anyway, apart from the Cindernox season, there's also this new leveling system. Pretty self-explanatory. Gain XP and level up. XP is gained from doing the basic things in the game, even as far as editing your character, I assume. I've spotted griffins in the game from time to time, I'm not sure if that's from leveling up, as far as I know, or it's from something else, but it seems to be a mod for the head and legs of the Kitsune, as it, as it has some of the same, same animations. So without further ado, let's go check out what this season has to offer, and probably see what we could do to level up. One thing you'll probably know is that this massive thing in the sky. Now this is explained in the bulletin, just at the uh, front area, right there. So why don't we uh, see what the whole uh, deal is with this. Uh, oh, it's cracked. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I didn't actually notice that before. Anyway, what does it say? Uh, Cindernox. A planet-wide advisory has been put in place for Cindernoct. The planet's moons have achieved their annual alignment, sending the magical energies that course through the planet into a dangerously volatile state. As such, thoroughfares to unknown, dim or thoroughfares to unknown dimensions and other dark forces have become unpredictable. During Cindernoct, please be aware of your surroundings and do not attempt to interface with the energy of the planet via spellcasting, summoning, or other energy-based rituals until the moons have resumed their normal rotation. Thank you. And you'll probably notice that uh, even the floor tiles in, in City Ferra have this uh, purple glow between the, the seams. And... Whoa. <laughs> that was... Uh, that was creepy. I just turn around the corner and this thing screams across uh, this alleyway here, from this door to the other. I wonder if we'll go again. Yeah, maybe not. But from what I've also seen... Um, <laughs> okay, that one actually scared me. I was just going through then and... That ghost thing screams across. Um, also in here... And this is like well before uh, the Cindernoct uh, season came along is... Okay, these were definitely new. I, they weren't here the last time I checked. What's this one? Oh, this, these are earrings. I can't see them on this character. Obviously we would have uh, Halloween slash Cindernoct items uh, coming in. So there's that. And also there's this um, this head mod which I got for which I got which is available for the long dragon. And that's the uh, that hood that's similarly to um, what Cobras have. Yeah, I'll see if I could find a better light light source. Yeah. You think which I immediately got. You get it from this, the Astral Shop. And also with the other uh, Haunted House as part of this season. They've added in a whole lot of other uh, uh, body part uh, mods for the dragon. And it seems to be uh, for the dragon uh, so far. I'm not sure they'll uh, add it for other creatures. But I've uh, explained something like this in a video I did recently, which is about my ideas for more creatures in Feral. So, if, if possible, and if you have the time, go check that out. You'll. Uh, You'll see that I'll that I'll mention something like this as as one of the ideal creatures. So it seems like uh, as if Wildworks heard it. I mean, I doubt they did, but they uh, they saw the list and they decided to add this type of head, which is cool. I mean, it's, it's just as good as my idea. 
and um, and one of the other noticeable uh, features there is um, any sort of water here is a uh, red color, obviously uh, indicating blood. And these are, um, I assume, are vex rats, which which are running around. And also regarding the water, especially down here with the hot springs. This is where I like to chill out from time to time. Mmm. A blood hot spring. This is, uh... Oh. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the atmosphere. Especially this part of the music. Very creepy. And it's even the, uh... Some of the players have gotten into the, uh, this, this spirit as well. And some of them look absolutely amazing. Now... What I'm going to do is, um, now see what I could do to uh, level up. So first, here in Lake Root, I'm going to get to the uh, the daily tasks for this one. See if that does anything. Okay, Tita. Grotokoi aren't usually so difficult, you know? Normally they thrive in ecosystems like this. So I have no idea why they keep jumping ship. These guys must be extra special, huh? If I was a stronger swimmer, I'd catch them myself. But I uh, am. Uh, not. Can you help me out here? Yep. Certainly will. This will be a little bit similar to my uh, daily talks video. Except I'm mainly demonstrating the... Uh, Leveling system, and not just the, uh, the Halloween season. Or Cindernoct. Oi, come here, you. Okay, that was progress. So there's that. I'm not sure I'll, I'll uh, level up during this video. And, oi, you. Okay, so you don't have to hold E anymore to catch him. Unlike, uh, these uh, koi here, and even harvesting uh, uh, cuts it as well. Yes, before you used to uh, have to hold E to catch them, but now that they've added the uh, mechanic to the uh, the grotto koi to swim away from you, you don't have to. You just have to uh, press it, I assume. And where would number five be? If I that is my number five, you have to find a number five. Where would number five be? Number five. Where is number five? Where is the little bugger? Aha! Right there. I, I can see the glow. Oh, you have to... You, <laughs> you still have to hold E, but it only takes like half a second. Alright. Here they are again. Gracious! You swim like a real pro, huh? Thank you so much for chasing down the koi. You're a lifesaver, literally. Off white die. Okay then. Well then. I certainly leveled up, that's for sure. I wonder if this shows, um, a leveling up. Oh no, it doesn't. It just shows the bundle. Okay then, and there doesn't seem to be any way to view, uh, uh, the reward items for leveling up. But, um,. Let's see what else we could get. Let's head to the Blood Tundra. Okay. Alright, Vesta. Okay. Listen, she beckons to you with her bowels so beautifully adorned with bone talismans. She requires sacrifice. She demands essence. <laughs> Retrieve the blood essence of the sh Venus Shrews, bring it to her. As qu quick as you can. Yes. 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 Where'd they be at? Um. Oh, I thought they were... They were there, but no, they're not. They're at the, uh... The Butterfly Shrubs. I, um, not sure what they're actually called, but I call them the, the, uh, the Butterfly Shrubs, because... That's mainly where the Butterflies are. And it's full of shrubs. 
All right, there's there's one. I wouldn't mind you. Uh, there's that. Gotcha. And I hear ya. Wouldn't mind you. And you. I noticed that the, uh, uh, the material you catch, uh, fly into your, uh, chest, uh, icon. Which is neat. I like those kinds of things. That should be the last one. Yep, exactly. And that one. You have to look somewhat hard for the uh, butterflies in this area, since they're camouflaged. And that seems to be all of them. Alright, back to the tree. <laughs> yes, yes, you've quieted the shrews and fed the mistress. We thank you. Bold orange dye, thank you very much. Now, the thing is about Mugmire Marsh, it has recently rotated and it has closed off the, uh, the Cobalt Camp, as in this area. And that's where uh, the Mug Monster um, uh, daily task is. So now we can't do it, which is infuriating. Pretty much makes it worse that it's my favourite of the daily tasks, because of combat. However, given that, uh, that Mugmire just recently rotated, I still haven't gone to opening, uh, these chests here. So let's see if this is worth any experience. Let's try it on this silver chest. Whoop. Whoop. That's one. Did that do it? Well and truly, and well, that was a lot. Yep. Yeah, yeah um, given that I'm quite low level, yeah, that would be a massive jump. So, um, I'll just uh, find these chests and lockpick them. Oh, um, what about those, um, those digging spots? I wonder if they're worth anything. Ah, oh, here's one. Yep. That does it. Yeah, and of course, given, uh... Uh, this area is rotated, there's the new quest there, but I'm not gonna get to that right now. Not after, uh, Blood Tundra rotates. Here's another one. Shimmer Blades. Okay, thank you very much. Oh, look at that! Purple chest! Right there! Okay, here's the effort. I'm not sure if, uh... If the other players know about, about where this purple chest is, so I'll... I'll just mention that there is one here. Double chest here. Whoop. Okay. I know the deal. I know exactly how to uh, do this without losing a lockpick. <laughs> <laughs> 
cry when I say that. <laughs> I break one. <laughs> Without breaking a lock, bong. <laughs> Why do I do that? I... Yeah, I jinxed it. <sighs> I cursed myself the moment I said it. <sighs> Uh Don't. <sighs> Good grief. Whoa, spider table. Yes. Uh, not sure if anyone's come or not, but I can't really uh, wait around for too long. I have to move on eventually. And, um, there's that uh, rock, rock flipping puzzle here. I'm not overly fond of these. But, I assume they're uh, still worth some, uh, some stuff. Pass my shots, thank you very much. Whoa, just a nick! Oh, right, chest up there. Wait, is anyone else on this? Oh no, there's plenty. Because I know one day I went into Lake Roots and it was empty. I was the only one in, in Lake Roots. I was thinking, oh my gosh, where is everyone? Because usually the place. Oh, there we go. Level 4. 100 likes, thank you very much. Because usually the, uh, the place is jumping. But it was like one of the, uh, rare times that a, uh, an entire map was empty. Okay, uh, stone's not here, but there is another red chest here. There it is. Where does it go? Around that way. Your XP is also uh, can also be gained from playing the mini games, which you th you think it would. All right, back that way. Okay, please be the last one. Oh, thank goodness. Adventure at Talban. Do, do I ever bring up that? I don't know. But I suppose um one thing about the uh the like, yeah I do have it already. I suppose the, the thing about these uh rock flip rock flipping stones there are uh, they can be worth big points. I guess I'll head over to uh, Sporville or Sporsville. Sorry. At least try to look for the, uh, some of the chests here. Um, oh! There's a second one under here. And what am we gonna get out of this? Dope. Dang it! There we go. Oh! Oh! oh. Uh, a bit light on that one. Dang it! Oh. <laughs> Wasn't uh, doing very well on my trick. It's like for something like uh, these, you mainly click it when it gets around here, instead of like right here. Like so.
Can I? Oh, <laughs> nice. It was something like that. You have to be really quick. Spider. Ooh, spider web web. Oh, spider. Spider web bed, not spider web web. <laughs> Grief and. I wouldn't mind some of those. Oh, running hardwood. Thank you very much. Oh, that's satisfying. Really satisfying. See all the uh, stuff just fly up to the chest. Um. Oh yeah, I was going along the uh, the shore over there. Oh, another silver one here. That time. <laughs> almost, almost. Just uh, not aligned that well. Dried veins. Thank you very much. Quite appropriate for the season. I don't think I've seen a single lockpick in this. Oh. <laughs> okay, I think all I all I have to do to. Um, just to make something happen is to mention it. Like I say, I'll probably uh, lockpick a, a purple chest without breaking a lockpick, and BAM! I break one. And if I just want to find a lockpick, I just have to say I just have to mention that I haven't seen a lockpick yet. If only uh, such abilities were that common, we could just um, will something to happen. If you know what I mean. Like we, uh... If we say something that to happen, then it will be so. It'll happen. This area's been closed off for quite a long while now. I wonder if we're, if we'll ever be allowed back in. I quite like it up there. And pretty much, had I remembered, I would have, uh... Um, after City Fair, I've shown you the uh, Shattered Bay and Sunken Thicket. But, um, can't really be helped now, and peacock sleeves, these are getting more common in common. But I'll just have to, uh, I'll show you the sunken thicket and, and the shattered bay after this. Bit of a, uh, noticeable difference in the shattered bay, uh, uh sky is different. Not so much in the, uh, thicket. It's mainly the, uh, a uh, big glowing thing in the middle, in the tree. Well, here's a basic chest. These aren't worth anything. Oh! Why didn't you show me that the last time? <laughs> this, everything's just been proving me wrong recently. I, uh, I, I opened up a, a chest before, and it didn't give me any uh, XP out of it. So, I don't know what um, this game is doing to me. I'm not even sure I'm even, um, even, even is. I think it just, I think it just knows what I'm saying and, and it just, uh, does something. Just to, uh, screw me over a little bit. <laughs> well, perhaps if you open the same chest, that's not worth anything. I know where another uh, a basic chest is. I'll I'll get to that one. See if it's any true. See, there's this one. All right. I did open that one uh, before, and and it still gave me uh, uh, XP. I don't know why another chest didn't do so previously. This game's really not liking me right now. But I suppose this is as much as I can show uh, here. So I'll, I'll guess I'll head to the uh, Shattered Bay and Sunken Thicket afterwards. But but, but also, despite um, uh, the Cobalt Campbell, this uh, area being closed, they're not blocked off. 
The only difference is that the harvest points are not there. And it's just uh, me and Diamond Lily here. I don't know where everyone's disappeared to. But... Yeah, so I don't know what's going on there. Maybe it's just a, uh... Uh, technicality. It's a bit of a bug that it's, uh... Uh, caused it to, uh, not be closed off. But anywho, um... Shattered Bay. And here we are. It's mainly... Oh! It's even here as well. That, uh, moon formation. But that's, uh, pretty much it for Shattered Bay. Nothing else going on. But, I mean, surely for a fact, a, um, a Twiggler's Workshop should have some, uh, Cinderknot-themed uh, furniture. Let's have a look. Excuse me, Twiggler? Uh, ooh. Oh, that's nice. That is really cool. I, I like that. What do you mean, who is that? I don't see anything. Rat King's Mask. Mmm. Scarebot. Ooh. Thank you very much. But that seems to be. Uh, oh, oh, wait, hang on. Scare up. Oh, scare up. <laughs> I wouldn't mind that. And spot. Ooh. I'll take four. If the owners of these webs aren't home, then where are they exactly? Mmm. <laughs> you never know. Thank you very much for the XP. And head out. So other than, as I said before, other than like this and the sky being different, that's pretty much it. I mean, uh, what is not like a, uh, a red colour, which would actually be insane. <laughs> and, um, there's also one thing I want to mention. I've uh, looked into the origins of most of these, uh, uh, seasons and festivals, such, such as, you know, Halloween, Christmas, and Easter. What more and more people are starting to, uh, uh, know is that... Them, they're all derived from paganism. That's where, uh, where we all uh, get them from, and that's, and they eventually evolved into the seasons that we see them as today. Uh, but for Halloween in particular, it was known as Sawin, a festival. Uh, um, what's the word? Uh, observed in uh, some of the northern areas of uh, the UK, mainly in areas in Scotland. As, um, as a festival mainly celebrated at the uh, beginning of winter, or, or if not at the end of autumn, which signified the world entering the dark half of the year, which is winter. And uh, there was a... Um, a, a a tradition called uh, guising, in which they would dress themselves in uh, in ghoulish costumes, and would door knock uh, people's houses and and um, say or sing a few uh, uh, verses and and poems in exchange for food. So yeah, and that's something that we do today with with the uh, trick or treating. So um, there's um, that in interesting fact. Even I even gone as far as observing the, uh, the the more traditional and pagan side of these uh, festivals. So Sawen, that's the name of uh, the uh, pagan festival. So now I'll tell you that. Let's um, head into Sunken Thicket really quickly. So I'm. Um, it's not really here, other than. Uh, these things, which 
is like a uh, massive uh, spider's nest, which is neat. And I hear that. What on earth could that be? Oh, Bellamy, I, I'm not. Sh I don't suppose you are uh, selling anything different. Nah, it's just the regular stuff. Ah, it's those things. They're, they're even doing it here. I don't think I even uh, saw a single one in the Shattered Bay. I don't, I don't think there is... It, it even is that, um, that thing. What are they? Anything up here? Oh, this is cool. Uh, like cocooned, um, things dangling from the tree. Seems like you've been closed since day one. When will you be open? Whoever runs this stall. I guess it depending. I'm guessing depending on what they uh, either sell or what they offer is uh we'll just have to see what what they're what they're about but right now it's not about them it's about this season and what is that thing it's got antlers on it so does this thing well, they can't be jackalopes they're too big But I do find it quite uh, appropriate having uh, spider webs and nests on this tree because where else would you find such things? Hmm. So we've got, we've got the uh, same things like here. Let's add in um, uh, giant spiders to uh, some of these uh, some of these spots. You know, just to give that added effect. Like spiders are nesting in this tree. But that's pretty much it for uh, this season. And not only. Not just for this season, but for this area in particular. So, all in all, that seems to be what this season is about. The season of Cindernoct. It's really, really neat, I have to say. I, I'm liking it already. And if anything else comes along which I happen to get, I'll, I'll make an update on if I have the time. So, if you have Feral... Follow me, and I'll follow you. Until then, farewell.